Welcome to the official T-Drill Guide for the T-54C SST. The T-54C SST is designed for fast and reliable T-forming directly onto stainless steel run tubes. Before we start, always wear appropriate personal protective equipment, including gloves, eye protection and hearing protection. Keep the work area clean and please read the manual before operating your new T-Drill portable tool. Let's take a closer look at the T54C SST. A machine itself. It has a trigger, low and high speed gear selector, pull mechanism lever, chuck ring and drilling handle. A positioning device, drill chuck and milling pins. With these tools and pilot hole chart, which can be found from the manual, you can make the correct size pilot holes. Adjustable collaring heads for different branch sizes. We have a selection of six collaring heads from 17mm to 54mm. Trimming tool to prepare the collar for welding. This device contains the chain clamp or optional ring clamps, pilot hole adjusting mechanism and scale, machine locking lever, milling lever and zero point locking lever. You can change from chain clamp to ring clamp by only removing these four screws. OK, let's make our first collar. Begin by securing your pipe and mark the T location. Mount the T54C SST using the chain clamping system. With positioning device, you can make sure the unit is properly aligned to the marked spot. Make sure that the device is locked to the center position when aligning the device with the mark. Start with the pilot drill to create a hole. The pilot hole made with the T54C SST is oval shape. B comes from the diameter of the milling pin. From the chart, we can check the setting values for A. These values are a good guideline, but you might need to adjust the values for your specific needs. Our goal is to make a 48.3mm collar. According to the manual, we choose the 17.3mm milling pin, so now the B value is set to 17.3mm. To make the hole longer, we need to mill it bigger. To this collar size, we need to remove material 7mm from both sides. First, unlock the centre position so the device can move sideways. Then push the handle gently when turning the screws. From the scale, you can see the value change. Make sure to adjust both screws. So, now you can insert the drill bit to the chuck. Stem flat sides must be placed to the chuck jaws. To insert the pilot hole, drill into the machine, rotate the locking ring of the chuck and slide the drill shaft fully into the drive shaft. Release the locking ring and rotate the pilot hole drill until fully locked. Lubricate the pilot hole drill bit with the lubricant recommended by T-Drill. Secure the machine to the device with the locking lever. Always check that there are no chips on either surface. Also make sure that there are no chips that prevent the sideways movement. Check that the speed selector knob is in position too. If the gear does not engage smoothly, rotate the motor by pumping the trigger. Drill the oval shaped pilot hole in two steps. First, drill through the pipe with the sideways position locked to the middle. Use enough force to push the drill through and when the material has been perforated, reduce force. It's important to reduce force after perforation. The drill bit can be damaged if too much force is used. When the drill has gone through the pipe, release the middle position locking of the sideways movement from the lever, and then stretch the hole to oval shape by moving the milling pin sideways by steadily pulling the milling handle first to the right and then to the left. If needed, move the milling pin sideways to finalize the pilot hole. Before pulling a collar, let's see how the collaring tool is adjusted. 
First, check the manual for what collaring tool to use. Twist the shank clockwise until you can feel it click and forming pins are extended. Check the forming pin span diameter. Forming pin span should be the branch pipe outer diameter minus wall thickness of the run tube. So in this case, when we're making 48.3mm collar on 88.9mm run tube with 2mm wall thickness, we need to adjust the tool to 46.3mm. You might need to adjust the values for your specific needs. Loosen the two screws and adjust the diameter. Now you can tighten the screws again. To retract the pins, press and twist the conical cover while holding the shank. Extend the pins and measure again. Now let's chuck the collaring tool to T54C. Rotate the locking ring and insert the tool. Release the ring and rotate the tool to make sure it's locked. Always remember to lubricate the tools. Lock the machine to middle position before collaring. Select the low speed mode with the speed selector. Rotate the collaring head to align with the pilot hole. Lower the head fully down inside the pipe. When the forming head is fully in the pipe, extend the forming pins by rotating the conical cover until the collaring head locks into the collaring position. Engage the feed mechanism lever. If it does not engage smoothly, rotate the motor by pumping the trigger. Start collaring by pulling the trigger. Lubricate the forming pins during the collaring process when there's enough space for the brush. Once the collaring head has been fully withdrawn from the collar, release the trigger and move the feed mechanism lever into the off position. Adjust the required trimming height. The adjustment is made by loosening the screw with the hex wrench and moving the sleeve to the required height. Lubricate the trimming blade. Retighten the chain by turning the handle. The collar will be skewed if the chain is loose and the machine can sway during trimming. Make sure that the speed selector of the T54C is on slow speed. Pull the trigger and steadily feed down the trimming tool by the drilling handle. Gently lower the blade to touch the surface of the pipe. The drilling handle stops moving down when the desired collar height has been reached. After use, clean the tool thoroughly. Store the T54C SST in its protective case to extend its service life. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact T-Drill Service. Thank you for your attention.